to season number three, second presentation this year. So we're glad to have you guys back. Chef Miguel. I'm so happy to be here. All right. What about you? Yeah, me too. <laughs> yeah. Me too. Right. It's exciting to, right. be, to start again. Yeah. So yeah. we are on our way to an exciting, we're going to do some Middle Eastern food, yes. Afghan food, something yeah. like that. Afghan what do we got? food, it's like it's, uh, it's some of the foods they, uh, we do today, it's like they use it for the holiday. Okay. okay. So we are in the holiday season, so I thought, oh, it's so original to do something else, yep. uh, different culture, and uh, see what they eat during the holiday. That yeah. sounds yeah. absolutely fantastic. All right, so just want to welcome, we have some in the studio tonight, uh, so Trish and Amy, and so welcome, and uh, we're glad to have them here. And by the way, if you're interested in this area, there's only one, one or two more shows left up here in Grayling before it probably shifts down towards Ann Arbor somewhere. Mm -hmm. So if you want to come and sit in and watch the live show, you're welcome. You just have to contact us and let us know. So, so go ahead and take it away and uh, show us how to prepare and get ready to make some great food tonight. Okay. So, salam alaikum. Malikam salam. Yes. I think. Yes, you just did well. <laughs> yes. So today is uh, we're going to the Middle East and Afghanistan, mm -hmm. and um, there is incredible flavor. I love their flavors. Uh, I went to a restaurant not long ago, Lebanese restaurant. Oh, it was incredible. The food, the flavor, the lentils was just right. <laughs> oh man, that and, sounds awesome. And, and, and so I said, why don't I we do something like this today? Okay, so cool. uh, today is the, I, I don't know if I pronounce the name well, Alshak. Alshak okay. is, a, is a Afghan dumplings. Mm -hmm. And uh, the other one is be a Bolani. It's a, it's a stuffed flat bread. Mm. Okay, so we're mm -hmm. going to do that. But first, okay. uh, we, let's start the dumplings. Uh, right. the, uh, actually, the Alshak dumpling. So we're going to start with first the, the leeks. That would be the filling for the dumpling. And oh. uh, for the dumpling, we use, um, I try, we use something like this. Um, this is the wonton wrapper. We can, I can give, I will give you the recipe also how to make the dough itself. Oh, but wow. to okay. go faster and everything, so we decided to use this today. Yeah. Okay, so it's a Very wrapper good. and it's like a, almost like a pierogi. Yeah, like yeah. pierogies. Yes, yeah, exactly. Yeah. So, uh, um, but this is exactly, uh, this is what we're going to use for the dumpling. I don't know if the camera see it well. Mm -hmm. Okay, yes. Okay, that's it. That's it. Okay. <laughs> yes. Now, uh, leeks. Um, we had to, the the thing about leeks. It looks so clean on the outside, but many mm. times it's, it's so full of dirt. Right. So I clean it already to save time. Yeah, it looks amazing. So uh, what we want to do, we want to as we want to slice this. That will be the filling for the dumplings. Okay? okay. So we want to make sure you slice it very very thin, as thin as the thinner you can go, the better. Okay. Yes. Remember your hand. Okay. Oh yeah, my fingers. Yes, your finger, Bend your the hand. fingers. Okay. Uh, and when did we, we just do our last one? I feel like it's been a long time. <laughs> <laughs> a long time? What do you mean a long time? I don't you know. Just, oh, I know you have it still. Uh, I've okay. this. I just, my fingers forget too. It's like riding a bicycle. After that, you I always mean, have it. Huh? <laughs> it's like you never forget that's, that. That's right. Okay. Very well. That's mm, fin, wow. fin, fin. Okay. That's good. Yours is really great. Okay. Okay. Almost done. You almost done? No, I mean. Okay. Take I'm, your time, eh? No cutting your hand today. Otherwise, okay, I, I thanks, call thanks. I call Amy and and Trish yeah. there to you finish guys, the lesson. You guys can help me. <laughs> <laughs> I lose a finger. You can step in. <laughs> okay. So we're going to. Okay. And how far did you go down? Like, do you use all the, the way, whole? All the way. Okay. Yes. Very good. All the way. So we're going to put it in this calendar there. And the okay. reason, and we're going to put some olive oil and a little bit of salt, like a teaspoon of salt. Okay. Just, and we're going to like crush it and to mm. release the, uh, the cellulose from it so the water come out from it, okay? okay. So we want to release some of the water before we uh, put, uh, then we're going to put a cup of, um, of scallion and a cup, about a cup also of green onions, okay? Of uh, cilantro. Okay. Great. Yeah. Wonderful. <laughs> and you did the right thing. You see how do you put the knife the other side? I what? am You're taking learning. care of this Great knife. Great girl. That's awesome. <laughs> wonderful. Wonderful. Okay. So you're going to put okay. about a teaspoon. You know how to measure it. Just yeah. drizzle a teaspoon uh, uh, and a half, something like this. Uh -huh. And put okay. um, a little bit of salt, about a teaspoon of salt. Okay. Okay. Right. Great. And now you want to yes, this is my favorite put part. your hand and crush okay. it. Crush <laughs> it. Here, come on. Make sure you, yes. Like massage yeah, it? Yeah, massage it, yes. Okay. Good massage, so that release uh, the water, the salt effect, mm. and the oil release some of the water out. 
and we're going to let it rest for five minutes. Okay. Until um, and then after, make sure hopefully some of the water come out from the during five minutes, and put a little bit more salt. Okay. Yeah, okay. I don't. Know. Yes. <laughs> I always Great. need more Massage salt. Massage a myself. little bit longer, and that's about I it. I can okay? feel it starting to weep. Weep. Yeah. I don't know if that's the right word. <laughs> it's good. So <laughs> you can. It's, it's, if it's soft already? Yeah, it's soft. Yeah. It's perfect, soft. yes. Okay, great. Okay, it's perfect. So yeah. let it let it uh, rest for a little bit for five minutes. In the meantime, what we're going to do, we're going to cut the scallion, the green okay. onions. We're going to take about a cup of this. Okay. Oh, and, uh, man, my the eyes are weeping. The cilantro also. Mm. So a cup of this, I think that's plenty. Uh, maybe okay. that's probably maybe a too much of a cup, but let's try it. Let's, let's cut it very thin also, the same thing. Same thing. And the same thing I will use also uh, I was thinking to put some cilantro, but um, I, I, I don't think I would do it because the other recipe has cilantro in it. So, okay, go That'd ahead. That'd be too much. Yes. Yes. I mean, I Perfect. do like. Yes. <sighs> okay. Let me you take. You want to say yeah? Yes. Okay. Okay. Uh, a little bit uh, smaller than that. Okay. Smaller. Just like the scat. Um, just ca le just like the licks. Okay. Yep. Okay. And we can measure it and see and see we need a curve for it. So let's let's see if we can have a curve for that. And then mm. it's, it smell it smells great, huh? So much. It's very it fresh. It yeah. So um, I will put it in the meantime on the here, just put everything there in the meantime. Okay. Yeah, it's so fresh. Like, you know, I don't know a trick for not crying with onions is to wear contacts, usually. <laughs> really? But like my eyes are stinging and I have my contacts in. <laughs> I don't know what to have. Like they're really, uh, many times. Is it really strong to you guys? No? Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I, don't know, I don't know. I don't know why. Wait for this one, maybe. Uh, depending how oh old boy. the onion is, yes. So. Okay, so all of these on okay. here? Yes. Okay. Okay. Ah! That slipped. Again. It's the edge. It's the edge of this plate. There we go. Okay. Yep. Perfect. So um, let's start with the yogurt. Okay. We're going to take about uh, a cup of yogurt. Uh huh. Maybe more. Let's do a two cup because I want to put some for. Uh, a couple this of is plain. Actually, this is plain. Uh, plain uh, silk, uh, dairy-free yogurt. Okay. Okay. This is what we're going to use today. So plain, not yes. not, not no. vanilla, not strawberry, not. <laughs> no. <laughs> Strawberry <laughs> onion. Really, that's a sweet thing. So <laughs> it's, well, it, who right. knows? So plain. Yeah. Yeah. Good. I don't know why they say plain, but there is a little sweetener, sweet, sweet, a uh, little bit of sweetener in it, but it's okay. 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 So go ahead, How put much? a cup of this. A cup in here? Yeah. Put a cup and a half. Yeah. All right. Cool. Yeah. Just yeah. Okay. Okay, go ahead, two cups, go two cups, so we dab on it, yes. Right. Oh, sorry. Hey, <coughs> this, is, this is live, live TV. <laughs> Everything happened. <laughs> okay, garlic, we're going to take about, um, mm. uh, just take a two, two clove. Okay. Press it down, push it down mm -hmm. nicely. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. <laughs> this is my favorite did you, thing. Did you crush it I first? I did crush it. I remember, well, you said it, but I, I've been remembering to do that. Okay, good. Mm -hmm. At home, I'm I going mean. to do some also if you, so. Yeah. Yeah, that's, and let's put in the yogurt. You put it in, in yeah. yogurt, you said? Yes, okay. put in the yogurt, yes. All right, yeah, that's okay. one, one, one bit big more. piece left. And then yeah. you're going to take a bit, uh, about salt, about, uh, let's say a quarter to half a teaspoon of salt. Okay. Okay, into it. Okay. And uh, some mint, we're going to put some, Mint also. We usually use dry mint, Oops, I'm getting onion here. but I like everything fresh. So I <laughs> said, "What is in dry mint?" So I, I'm going to put fresh <laughs> mint in these things instead. Uh, just a little bit of mint. Look at this beauty there. Mm. So beautiful. Mint. Okay. You said about half a teaspoon of salt. Yeah, about I'm half a teaspoon. I'm gonna measure it because I never do enough. Okay. Never do enough salt. So half. Okay. I put some mint inside. Okay. Look at this. Can you smell this? I can, yeah, like right away. Oh man. Oh man, this is incredible. <coughs> okay. Can you, wow. can you guys smell it? Okay, we need to like take some mint over there because that's so good. Uh, so, I want you to so smell good. this. This beauty, man. 
This melts. That is very oh, good. Yeah. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> it's incredible. <laughs> yes. Okay. okay. <laughs> so, okay, let's put it in. Let's okay. throw everything I have this here. All right. And that will be for, uh, actually, that will be mm. for the dumpling. So, mm. the okay. dumpling has three steps. There's the yogurt, there is the meat sauce, three and steps. also, and then the dumpling itself. Okay. okay. So there's the yogurt, and now so we're doing the, the meat sauce. Okay, before we put the Hold meat on. sauce, well, let's do the meat sauce, and after we can finish this. So we make sure that it drinks well enough, okay? okay? So the meat sauce, we can start onions. You take a, yeah, take a half onions to be okay, okay? okay Good. Half? What? Well, no. <laughs> you did well. All right, so. Half, not this way. This? No, 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 no. What? Wait, what? Yes, this way. This way, yes, half. Yes. Perfect. <laughs> okay, you feel it. Yes. Okay. So are, you do, are, are you doing in the other half? Yeah, I can. I can. Uh, are I we doing a whole or just a half? Half of it. Oh, yes. oh, got you. Okay. okay. So now. All right. No. Wait. Side. No. Yeah, you can do the side can first, the side? but I like to usually do this the side of your first. Okay. Yeah, that's right. Okay. See, I just. So when I. Yes. So you, it, it's, it's up to you. You can start from the side first, the top first, or we can do the wedges first. Yes. Well, that's okay. Yes. That's okay. Yeah. Great. Remember. Wonderful. Okay. Uh, so then um, we're going to use uh, some garlic. I have some garlic already there. Okay. I don't know how much meat should I put in these things, but um, uh, I put how many? Is it? This is what the meat we're going to use. Okay. Uh, you can use TVP, texture with vegetable protein, mm -hmm. or you can use, uh, what else can you use? Tofu maybe, dried uh, yeah. chopped tofu. Have but you ever tried jackfruit in food? Uh, jackfruit no? also, why yeah. not? Okay. Like, so this is the one is vegan. Uh, so that's the one I, I found and uh, I think uh, Myers, I bought it in Myers, I believe. Right. Nice. Okay. Have so. you ever, what's that other one that comes in the can? Uh, jackfruit? No, um, it starts with a C. C. Yeah, no, it's kind of like know. TVP. Anyway, I think you sell it at the store, but it's like there's one with a curry and there's one that's plain. Oh yes, I know, you know what, what you mean? mean. Yes, I don't know the name of it. It's like Seton. Yeah, Seton. Uh, okay. Yeah. Yes. Anyway, okay. I know there's yes. a lot of different brands. Yes. All right. Okay, let's like put it in uh, some olive oil there. Go okay. Ahead, put some there. Ah. Okay. <laughs> I know we have to transition to uh, to uh, yes. <laughs> very yeah. soon. Okay. But uh, <laughs> That's let's right. let's start this process first, then we can thing? transition after that. Okay. Yes. Whoops. Okay. Great. <laughs> like throwing onions everywhere. Yes. And uh, the garlic. So garlic. Let's put the garlic after. Uh, garlic is never good to cook the garlic with the onion at the same time because the garlic will burn before the onion is soft. Right. Okay? okay. So it's best always to put it at the end. Okay, so garlic, and uh, the next things we're going to put is a green chili. I have some chili there, so mm. take the seed out, okay, and make sure you wash your hand after this. Huh? Mm. Yes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I've done this before where I've hit myself yeah. in the eye. Yes. And it's not ah, pleasant. using your hand? Ah, what do you, how do you do I, this? I like to, to not use my hand, I just scrape it like this. Well, that's probably smart. Yes, because my hands are going to be really yes, if you do toxic, that. <laughs> or not toxic, but... Yeah, um, <laughs> it'll be your weapons against no. your eyes. <laughs> oh well, just okay. It, it's too late. So uh, dice it. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Many people have the same thing. So, okay. <laughs> right. I will slice it first. What? What? Do some slice first. Maybe we don't use the whole chili. Or it would be too spicy. So this, okay, it's just <laughs> like this. <laughs> yes. And, and then, then dice. dice. Yes. Okay. Yes. Do you like spice? Do you guys like spice? Okay, perfect. Oh, good. <laughs> so they like spice, we so can, we are safe. <laughs> for our live audience, we can make this. <laughs> You'll enjoy it too. Oh. Okay, go ahead. This is well known? Yeah. Okay. So you can go ahead and put it inside. Now and you're going to. The seeds. Remember the chili, when you put chili on, on heat, it, you, it really releases a lot of, of the. How do you say that? A lot of the, <laughs> what, the it just burn your eyes. It just make you cough everything. So oh great. Okay, so <laughs> just just be aware of I that. I like have seeds in here. That's they're sticking. Okay. It's fine. There is some seeds. It's oh, okay. okay. It's okay. They like they like it. So it's I fine. mean I yeah that's true. Okay, right. so 
Let's stir this nicely. And then after this, we're going to add, go ahead, put it Thanks, in. Thanks, so just the last bit. Yes. Then I want to explain to them. And then after this, we're going to put this here. After it's saute. Okay. Yep. Um, let's put uh, actually some chili powder and some paprika. Okay. Mm, it smells so So the good. recipe asks for coriander, paprika, and okay. uh, coriander and paprika. Okay. So let's put this inside. Yeah. Okay. Um, paprika is here and the coriander. I have some coriander seeds. Okay. I like to use coriander seeds, but what I like to do first, I like to push it a little bit so you really sum the oil out yeah. and then put it in into the stove. Okay, paprika, about a teaspoon of paprika. Okay. okay. So this is half a teaspoon, so I'm going to put two yeah, in so here. Yes, you can put a teaspoon of paprika. That's fine. Mm. Coriander, the same thing, a teaspoon, and garlic and pepper. Okay, perfect. You said and same thing for which one? The, the coriander I put. Oh, you already got that? Yes, paprika. Mm -hmm. You can put a little bit of turmeric. Mm -hmm. Yeah. How much ahead. do you want normally? Like uh, just a for a quarter, a quarter. Just a pinch. Just put a pinch of turmeric. Oh, like that? Yes, just like that. Uh, it's turmeric. If you put too much, he, it just okay. it just tastes like medication. So. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so it's just it just give it medication. like a, a okay. bitterness a bitterness in it. It's oh, like it's yeah. not. The turmeric is, is there for color, just for color, nothing else. Okay, oh, okay, okay. Yes. okay. Okay, so now <laughs> we're going to put, um, just put like about two cups of this. Okay? All right, all right, sounds good. And then after this, we're going to put uh, the tomato sauce and the diced tomatoes. Okay, okay a couple cups of the burger. Let's see. Use it, you can use it. Ah, oh, yes. No, go ahead. But just a little bit of that. All right. Tomato paste. We put about a tablespoon of tomato paste. Oops. And uh, after this, we're going to put. Notice oh, we put the, the spices so first. <laughs> Always put spices first before you put any liquid, so you release the oil from the spice. Okay. Spice before liquid. Got yeah. It. Okay. All That's right. good. We, I think we're also hungry, so put, put <laughs> some. <more>. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. That's good. Okay, a little bit more of that. Okay, okay so I'm good. Okay, the garlic. I'm going to give you garlic. I'm going to put yes. uh, about three cloves of garlic. Okay. So, so what we did so far, Emily. So we sauteed the onions. Yes. And uh, we put uh, paprika and coriander. Mm -hmm. And then we add uh, the ground meat and the garlic. Okay. And, have the and tomato sauce in paste. There. We the put paste. a little bit of paste. tomato paste, and then go ahead. You can put some now of that. Half of this. Half? Just put some half of that. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. Great. Like that Wonderful. much. That's good. Now okay. let's lower the temperature off. All right. And that's it. Stir it a little bit, and uh, mm. let's check for salt and uh, everything after that. All right. Taste test. Yes. Yay! Okay, you guys want to taste test? Can I try it? They can come to taste. You can come yeah, over here. Yeah, come over and taste yeah. it if you want. But it's it probably is not there yet. But you can tell us. Oh no, more more of this or or whatever. Okay. Ooh, yeast on flakes. On yeast flakes. Yeah, yeast flakes are good. Let me stir this up in there. Get those in there. Okay. Okay. Why don't you take a spoon here? And uh, I give you a taste. The flavor is not quite there yet, but mm. it's coming okay. together. Okay. Nice. So let us know what is missing. Okay, you just put more salt in. Yeast twigs. Yeah, <laughs> I'm going to grab it. <laughs> <laughs> mm. Mm. Oh, yeah, yeah. Mm. It's getting there, actually, yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. So you need more salt, more salt. So far? Okay. No. Okay. Awesome. Uh, okay. That's good. So. Yeah, okay. So now let's uh, let's finish this here before okay. the before Pastor Benson come. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Let's squeeze the, the the water there. Whoa. Spicy. <laughs> mm -hmm. Okay. Let's squeeze what? the water. Uh, let's squeeze it. Squeeze it. Yeah. To make okay. sure there is no more water. Uh, oh. Okay. Because now what happened is. Show, show, let's show okay, okay, you see, you see how much water yeah, come mean, out from this? Can you see it? Let's put it in a bowl. Here. The one as you squeeze, put it in a bowl. Okay? After I squeeze, yes. Yes, Thank after you. I squeeze. I was like, okay. Oh, man. 
Man, I don't know how. All right. This is really satisfying. I'm going to put uh, some of the Indian chili powder in these things. <laughs> it's going to be a little spicy, but Woo. I think it'll be okay. How much? I mean, you want me to keep sweet? I mean, there's yeah. a ton of water as in here. As much you can, yes, yes. Okay. And uh, yeah. And grip so the dolphin don't get too wet after that. Okay. Yes. And uh, if you notice, uh, we didn't. We will not cook the whole at all. This thing. We will not go to a skillet. No sous It will just the salt actually tenderize it. It's perfect for the dumplings. You know how oh, to cook it. Gotcha. Okay? Yeah, no, that's the other cool. alternative would be to saute everything and okay. then it's be ready. But I think it's uh, all the nutrients, everything is great there. It's just so healthy. Okay, so yeah. instead of sauteing where yes. some of the nutrients could yeah. evaporate or yeah. cook out or whatever. Yeah. So you can just do it this like this. works great. Yes. I love so this. So I put some chili Remember? powder and... Uh, what did we do to do this? It was just this and salt? And no, yeah. we put a little bit of oil, yeah. right? A little, oh yeah, a little bit of oil and bit. salt. That's it. Okay. Yeah. All right, cool. Oh, the green onions oh, also. Then we're going to put this together. Okay. So it's like a couple of green onions. Uh, with the whole licks that we, um, we so we let we we'll, uh, what we did for the licks. So we let yeah. it soak in uh, salt and oil for five minutes. Yep. Uh, more probably more than five minutes. And then after this, you squeeze it well and then mix it with the, the green onions, the yeah. scallions. Okay. And uh, we put a little bit of chili powder mm, and salt. You did? Did yeah. you already? Yes. Yes. Okay. okay. So I see good. it. Oops, I should probably stir this. The chili powder. Okay. So that's uh, that's about it. Um, okay. What's that, Savannah? <laughs> okay. So uh, well, let's stir it and let's check out those things. The yogurt is ready. We have your, 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 uh, the mint yogurt, Perfect. the filling for the dumplings, okay. the, so, uh, the, the ragu. I call it uh, like a bolognese, Afghan bolognese mm -hmm. uh, for this. And then we can start putting everything together. Okay. Okay. Perfect. And then we have another recipe after that. Okay. Awesome. All right, welcome back. We're going to share a little bit of a spiritual connotation from this. Um, so we're going to look at what the Bible says about health. Kind of fascinating because a lot of people say, well, Old Testament health laws really aren't relevant to today. And so we want to double check and see that because where did these health laws come from? How did they get to Moses? How did they get to us? So the Bible clearly says that some foods are not to be eaten. Very clearly, you look at Leviticus 11. It says, here's the clean and here's the unclean. Don't eat certain kinds of things. Yet uh, there are many well-intended people today who say, well, those things were nailed to the cross. Those guidelines are no longer relevant. They're out of date. Um, some people say that it's just an arbitrary decision that Moses made or he gleaned some from the cultures around him and he adapted them and he came up with this code. But what we discover is that when we look at Leviticus chapter 11, verse 1 and so forth, it says, Now the Lord spoke to Moses and Aaron, saying to them, Speak to the children of Israel, saying, These are the animals which you may eat among all the animals that are on the earth. So the health laws were not really something that Moses gathered from the surrounding cultures, not something that was given from an arbitrary God, but was, was given from a God of love who cares about his creatures and wants to give them laws that pertain to keeping them healthy. And we'll see how that rolls out here a little bit. So God's hope was that Israel, as they would eat, these, eat by these laws and live by these laws, they would be healthy, and the surrounding nations would say, hey, how come you guys are so much healthier? Share with us your secret. It's kind of fascinating because uh, Dan Butner did a thing on National Geographic about the blue zones. Where are the people who are living the longest in the earth? And he looked at what are the factors over in Okinawa, what are the factors over in this group in Italy, what are the factors for Loma Linda blue zone here in the United States? that contributes to that. And what we discover is all of those things actually harmonize with the principles that we find right here in the Levitical laws that God gave Moses to give to the people. So today we see the laws given to Moses have tremendous value in the area of public health even still today. These laws help to protect Israel from bad diets and communicable diseases, which uh, we have still happening today. COVID has taught us an awful lot about the wisdom found in Moses' health laws. And there are times when quarantining, which was recommended for certain diseases like leprosy, and if you had like uh, different kinds of scabs that were oozing and pus or whatever, that they were to be quarantined for a period of time, and then they'd be reinspected. If it was healing well, then they could be back in the community. If not, then they would have them quarantined from the community to keep from spreading the disease. 
So we can see that there's a lot of sense from COVID in our, exp our experience with that recently, that uh, by quarantining some of these situations where uh, we have active viruses going on, that it actually does help to prevent some of the spreading that takes place. So when we look at the Leviticus 11, we see that Moses, in verses uh, chapter 11 through 20 of Leviticus, he wrote down the criteria, but he didn't say the rationale behind these health laws that God gave. But medical science does give us the rationale behind them. Um, for one, it is found that animals often carry diseases that are dangerous to humanity. Not always, not every kind of animal, but some animals far more so than other kinds of animals. So the animals labeled as unclean in Moses' day uh, still carry parasitic diseases, for sure. If you take bacon and you do it well, cook, you well cook it, you can often still have a parasite that has not been killed by the heat, for example. So clean foods are such foods as grazing animals, such as cattle, sheep, deer, and elk. And they eat grass, which we can't eat. It's not edible to us, but when they eat it, and when we kill them, we can eat that meat as clean meat, and it's okay, biblically speaking because God knows it's not unhealthy per se, in moderation. So, when we look at Leviticus chapter 11, it talks about uh, other things, such as, what about seafood? So we know that uh, anything the Bible says in Leviticus 11 that has fins and scales is considered clean for seafood. And it's kind of fascinating because during World War II, there was a big concern. What are American aviators in the Pacific going to do when their plane crashes, they swim to the island, and they have all this seafood to eat. There's some seafood that's very poisonous, and the concern was we don't want our aviators to get sick and die. So the government did a big study, cost them about $100,000, and they came up with this big manual about what they could eat, what they couldn't do, eat, but who's going to carry that heavy manual with you in the airplane when you fly? And when your plane's going down in the Pacific, who's going to remember to take it out so you can live by that code? So in the end, they came up with the same, basic, um, the same basic result that you would find in reading, reading Leviticus 11. And of course, that's a lot cheaper, right? And that is just simply stay with the fins and skills and you'll be safe. Fins and skills and you will be safe. Why is that uh, so? Well, unclean water organisms like clams and oysters are filter feeders that purify the water. The challenge is, is that they're purifying the water, they're concentrating potentially harmful chemicals inside of them, and when we eat them, those chemicals get inside of us, and we have the negative impact of whatever that chemical is. So that can be harmful. Harmful bacteria and viruses can be in their tissues, and then they come into our, our eating through our GI tract system. Oysters are like vacuum cleaners or bottom feeders. They're not very healthy to eat. Same thing with crabs and lobsters. They're scavengers, and they eat dead things on the bottom of bodies of lakes. And when you eat that, of course, you're eating the basic waste of other animals that have fallen down to the bottom and other things that are not very healthy. So you can understand why God would say fins and scales and stay away from the other kinds of things. What about birds? Well, most unclean birds are carnivores or scavengers. And we know that, well, they're still concerned with birds because we had the avian flu here not too long ago coming over from China. And we have, so there's just issues still today that is relevant to the counsel that Moses gave to us, uh, God gave to us through Moses way back in the Old Testament. That if we are careful to follow these principles, we will stay healthy and away from a lot of disease. We've had other things like SARS outbreak, which started in southern China by unclean cats. Uh, which were eaten as a delicacy. There's other things like the Ebola virus, and, and of course, we just had COVID recently. So the Bible health laws, God said, if you will keep my commandments and do them, I'll put none of these diseases on you that are, that are on the other nations that are around you that aren't living by these health laws. And it's true. People, as they live by these health laws, blue zone people, for example, are a classic case. They live a longer, healthier happier, more productive life than those who unfortunately are not aware of them or choose not to make those choices. So there are some other health laws that are widely accepted today. Leviticus chapter 3 verse 17 talks about you shall eat neither fat nor blood. And so we know that high fat diets are linked to all kinds of problems. Uh, heart disease, cancer, 
uh, strokes, cancers of the colon, of the breast, and a lot of other pathologies. And eating high-fat diet also tends toward helping us to become higher in fat as well. And when we become higher in fat, we also are more susceptible to all cancers and all kinds of diseases. Our bodies are not just able to fight as well. So it's good to look for areas that are high in concentrations of fats as areas of where you can cut in your diet. For example, visible fats on meat, it's good to cut those away before you even cook it, so you're not even going to imbibe that, eat that. Fatty cuts of meat such as bacon, lots of heavy gravies and dressings with lots of fat, places to cut back on. So some of the areas of saturated fat is the, perhaps the most dangerous, and it, unfortunately it's, it's largely in meat and dairy products. And that's a good area to scale back in or to eliminate. Well, blood is also unhealthy. We know that the AIDS uh, was a big epidemic here back a few years ago. Still is, by the way. We just uh, in, a, in third world countries, it's just off the charts in many countries. Uh, hepatitis is another one. So it's good to stay away from eating blood. And, and if you do eat meat, it's good to get kosher meats to get the blood out so that you will have a decreased risk of getting disease. Better choices are power plant-based foods, such as fruits, nuts, grains, vegetables, legumes. Even Ezekiel had a, uh, a bread. They actually call it Ezekiel bread. In some places you can buy it. It's uh, based on Ezekiel chapter 4, verse 9, where he uses barley, beans, lentils, millet, and spilt and wheat as the basis for that bread. Regarding sweets, the Bible does say uh, to eat honey uh, and simple sugar sparingly. This is one part of the Bible I have a hard time reading because I happen to have a sugar tooth. But uh, it says to use it sparingly. And that makes a lot of sense today because we know that when there's high amounts of sugar in our system, it helps us over time to become more prone to adult onset diabetes. Uh, it also is a contributing factor to complicating things like Alzheimer's. If you have a tendency that direction, it helps to move you down that line a little faster. My parents both had Alzheimer's, and so I have it in my DNA, so I try to be careful. So we think about, in closing, the Bible text. It says, whatever you eat, drink, and do, do all to the glory of God. And uh, the Bible also reminds us that my body uh, is his body temple, and it's for his glory. So... Be a good steward, take care of your body temple, you'll live longer, you'll be happier, you'll be healthier, and you'll be able to enjoy those grandkids and everything else that comes down the line. Back to Chef and Emily. So, yeah. so what, we, what we have been doing is taking the wonton. This is the wonton uh, wrappers. So we use this here, and then we are going to fill them up with the leeks mixture. So we remember this year, so that's green onions, or scallions, mm -hmm. and leeks. We uh, pre-soak it in, uh, we salt everything, and uh, remove the water, and that's the fillings that we have, okay? And so we put it, it's very simple, you want to make sure that you uh, moist the edges of your wonton, just like so, mm -hmm. with some water. And don't, uh, put about a teaspoon, or close to a teaspoon in the center, and the wontons, they, they kind of stick together. So I was, when I was yes, making the dumplings true. at first, I was making them a little thick because <laughs> I had two wonton, wrap on, or wonton wrappers. Yeah, doubled together. So. Yes. Yeah, thankfully and you caught that. Yes, we got that. <laughs> okay, so you make sure it's sealed well. So because when we're going to put in in uh, the boiling water there, and we want to make sure a, li a little bit of oil in the water so it stick together. Oh right. Just like Thanks that. Thanks for remembering. And, uh, and li we leave it for five minutes into, into the water, okay? Five minutes. All right. Amy, do you like to come? And, and uh, Trish also? Yeah, you guys Do some dumplings? Some? <laughs> come, Emily, you can, uh, we can. Uh, do you wanna? Uh, uh, as they make the dumplings, we can uh, actually, okay? Mm. As yeah. they make the dumpling, we can start with the other one. Okay, come, ladies, I'll show you how to do this. So. So you want to do this, and Emily, you can uh, dip some more. Oh, yeah, you can. There's um, you if can you want to wash your hands, if you haven't, yeah, there's some right over there. We can use this soap. Oh, this is hot, cold, and here's the. Oh, oh, here we go. Oh, I don't know either. Okay, hang on one second. There we 
go. This one got turned off right here in the main valve. All right, you guys. Hey, this is Sorry, live. You, you see, you see, we're still live, <laughs> and uh, we're washing our hands, <laughs> and uh, no, no complications. Okay, so go ahead, and uh, you can put uh, some of the. Uh, go ahead, you can work in the station there. So you put a little bit in the center. Don't put too much, otherwise it would be hard to close. Wonderful. Look at Trish doing these things. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. And um, close it nicely. Awesome. <laughs> I can help you also at the same time. You look good. Are you satisfied with the result? Trish, are you good? Okay. What about Amy? Yeah. If the uh, stick is, is because there's sometimes it's vegetable between, so it's make it harder to stick. Yeah, I can put a little more water. Okay. Great. Okay. Mm. There you go. That's, yeah. yeah. So if you don't feel too much, this we yeah, we make it very easy to stick there. You know, one. I tend to I tended to overfill the first few because it was yeah. I just wanted okay. exactly. I just wanted a lot in there. Yeah. <laughs> it's like. I, I do that when I make a taco salad. Like I always start kind of small and it gets to fill the plate. <laughs> I don't know when I'm putting it all together. Tips and ingredients. Medicine. Yes. Yeah. Yes, it does. It does. Okay. And uh, this will be served with the uh, uh, the meat sauce and also the yogurt. Mm. The yogurt. So I'll show you how to dress. After this, we're going to uh, at the end we're going to uh, put everything together. Oh, so, cool. but first we have another another one to do. Thank you so much, ladies. Do uh, you can finish this one? Yeah. Okay. Oh yeah. Oh, one yeah, for each one of you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. I'm glad I'm not the only one. I was like, I was like, I can't get it. <laughs> mm. One more. I'm doing this one also with you guys. Okay. Yes, awesome. So the mint is in here. The mint will be after. Is the mint is in the yogurt. So we're going the to put it. Yeah. In the yogurt. Yes. Yes. Mm, the we can add cilantro into the thing or mint if you want to, but it will be in the yogurt and uh, it will be perfect. Uh, uh, I love me too. So, yeah. we're going I think to we're all fans here, so that's a yes. <laughs> that's a yes, chef. Yeah. 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 Please. Okay. Please. Okay. okay. Wonderful. Mm -hmm. Thank you, ladies. Thank you. Yay. Thank They're you. fun to make, yeah. Right, Thanks, yeah. guys. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Okay, so in the meantime, mm -hmm. um, maybe we should put it into the water. Okay. Do uh, you have one more? There's just one left, yeah. Okay. Let's do this one. <coughs> Might as well I, I, put I, it in there. I don't like it to, uh, to <laughs> overlap them because I'm afraid they stick together and yeah. uh, it'll be hard to. Uh, so okay. the water is, uh, let's do, do uh, just a simple, just uh, and after that we can do it after. Okay. I just want them to see how to do it. Yeah. Them, okay. Just a few I dip it first. in the water. Okay. And uh, pray that it doesn't open. <laughs> pray that it doesn't open. I'm okay. pinching. No, it's still doing well. You pinched it really yes, good, right? Yes, pinched it well. Okay. okay. So we want, oh, oh, we, we want to put not to, uh, a few at a time. Mm -hmm. I put like about six at a time in this pot. So it won't stick together. Okay. Beautiful. Yes. So five minutes. We leave it for five minutes, and then we will okay. remove it into this thing. In the meantime, okay. uh, while we're doing this, in the meantime, we're going to start the Bolani uh, stuffed flatbread down. Okay. Uh, stuffed flatbread. Okay. All so right, I'm going to do five minutes. We're going to take a, a little bit of time to do this. It won't take long actually. Okay. Uh, you're going to the potatoes have been pre-cooked already. Uh huh. I uh, cube them and cook them, and awesome. go ahead. You can put everything in. Now what we can crush it. Sorry. What, yes. What am I putting? Look, take this thing here. So oh, I'm mashing. Oh, yes, I'm okay, mashing. Sorry. Yes. And this one, I don't want to bring to a too high boiling, otherwise it will break the, the dumplings. Okay. Oh man, pierogies are like some of my favorite things, so I'm really excited to try. And we're going to take some cilantro this time. She, she says she likes cilantro, so yeah. we're going to put some cilantro. <laughs> Me too. I used to, I think I said before, I used to like not really like it at all because it tasted like soap, but 
And now, Man, so you oh, can be it. learned, so you can learn to like it, huh? Yeah, I thought, I think, I thought I it was a chemistry, a chemical reaction, and so you don't, if you don't, if you, hmm. if you don't like it, you don't, won't like it anymore. I don't know. No, I mean your taste buds change. Even our, even our inclined tastes. Like you think of kids and how you think, well, or, or even like ourselves, you think, well, our bodies tell us what we want to eat or what we need to eat based on our taste preference. Yes. But that's not true. It's huh. because our taste preference is cultivated by what we've had what we've had our in our childhood. life, right? Yes. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. So, like, if I'm used to eating certain things, that's what I'm going to want or crave. So we can re-educate so our can, taste. And cilantro can, it's one of those herbs you can learn. That, okay. Yeah, I was so re-educated. I love it. Okay. Love so, it. Okay, this is the dumplings that we have. Let me... Just take it like this. Okay. Beautiful. You see the bright color of yeah. the, the lakes uh, going through the, the, the dumpling, the wonton. Yeah. This is it's beautiful. Nice Five minutes, it's nice and clear. So this is what we want, okay? Okay, so now we're going to put cilantro inside. I have the cilantro for you. Go ahead, put uh, about- a couple minutes left, is that okay? Oh, a couple of minutes. Oh, <laughs> she timed it. I mean, okay. I, yeah. yes. it's okay, it's okay. Uh, actually, it should be a little longer. If it looks longer, good, that's fine. But, um, oh, <laughs> I just want, I well, just didn't want, okay, okay, it's okay. It's good, okay? <laughs> so, <Yeah>. now, the <laughs> Sorry. So it's all right. I just wanted to check. It should be okay. All right, cool. It looks good. I'm hungry. I will I eat it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so let's time this one again. Okay, let's okay, time it. Okay. okay, let's time it and see what the result with this one. Okay. Five minutes, everybody. If you're hungry, you can leave it less than five minutes, like I did. <laughs> I mean, it looked clear. Yeah, it looked good, actually. When we did the other one earlier, it wasn't quite It looked bad. good, actually. When we did this okay. beforehand. So. All right, I'm going to start it. You start it? Yeah, I'm starting it. Okay. All right, is this, is this mashed enough? Yeah, that's yeah. fine. Well, actually, to it's good to leave it a little pieces uh, of uh, potatoes in it, okay? Okay, So cool. now let's take some of the garlic. I'll give you some cilantro. Did you say garlic too? Yeah, let's take some garlic. Um, okay, Check how many? about three, three, three? cloves of garlic. Awesome. Chop. Yep. This is like so good. The cilantro is about a cup of cilantro should be fine. Okay. Is the cup you think? A cup? Okay. Oh yeah. Oh, well. I mean, yeah. <laughs> good. Okay, so we're going to put some black pepper. Oh, it smells so and, uh, good. And a little bit of turmeric. Sorry, that's making me very happy. Oh, I'm glad you yeah. make you happy. I mean, yes. cilantro. So I won't put like... no heat in this one, eh? Yeah, huh? Leave it for Well, I, <laughs> I, I was to... dying from heat earlier, but that's because I thought I was eating leeks and I ate the green peppers plain. <laughs> and that was that was bad. Ah, that's so well, easy. That, well, yeah. Well, Pastor was I talking. I was dying over here. You gave me yogurt, so thank you. I didn't realize that was a good I I thought it had like fallen out of the bowl on my cutting board, and so I was eating it. Like I was like, oh, more leeks. So I took a big bite, and it was the peppers. That and then was I was like, so easy. Ah. Anyway, plain okay, plain so peppers. You're now. Some of you guys probably could eat those plain and not die, but I'm not. Okay. That was too spicy. Is it good? Okay, is this enough? Yeah. Yes. Awesome. Okay, let's toast. Turn this. And stir it nicely. Yes, it's um, good. Wonderful. So we put everything now. Mm -mm -mm. Yeah. It's it, you know see, it's so simple. It's like mm -hmm. this is. Let me put some green onions. I think I like some oh. green onions. I like to put some chili. Okay. Chili pepper, but I will leave it away. Huh? I put some scallion instead. Yeah. No. How? <laughs> <laughs> However, as long as I'm not eating it plain, I think we'll be okay. fine. Because <laughs> it's with Are the sure? potato. <laughs> okay, give yeah. it a taste, Emily. D this just yeah. like it is? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Give it a taste. Do you want to try it too? Yeah. We have salt, hold on. Mm -hmm. Whoops. I'm doing it wrong. This is good. Yeah. Mm, mm, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah, it's really good. I put some chili. I'm going to put a little bit of chili there. Huh? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Give some heat to these things. Mm. Okay, that's it. That's and, okay. Uh, we all like we all like that here. Okay, so in the meantime, let's. Uh, how was how was uh, the yeah. the pierogi? I must say pierogi. Pierogi? Better. Yeah. Oh, uh, yeah. Uh, right. The ostak. See, it's like two minutes left. Two? No way. It's I think it's minutes. ready. Okay, <laughs> let's we'll take, take it. Let's take it out. <laughs> Where's the? Oh, there it is. Okay, yeah. Okay. <laughs> when it comes to the surface, anyway, okay, yeah. it's, it's ready. Okay. Yeah, perfect. Oh, be careful yeah. that the plastic, so be careful. Okay? Oh, okay. Yeah, it comes to the surface, okay. it's ready. Right. So, look, uh, show One them to the camera. Three. Yes. That's, that I think, that's, this is what you want. Okay. okay. That's perfect. I'm okay? going to throw the timer yes. away. <laughs>
Okay, so Emily, we're going to take, I have uh, make uh, a yeast dough for okay. it. Yeah, so for me, like when Look I'm learning this. to cook though, I, whoa, it's, yes. uh, yeah, it's, yes. it's raising really nicely. So what you're saying? Well, I was going to say like for me, when I learned to cook, you know, yes. I needed that timer. Like I would need to yes. know, okay, three minutes yes. or like two yes. minutes. Because I didn't know you could kind of watch. Yeah, when this it comes to the really surface, helpful. it's good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Awesome. That's great. Very well. So it's yeah. like, so yeast, flour, okay. and water, and that's about it. And a little bit of olive oil. That's it. And we're okay. okay. So. So we're going to make eight pieces or ten pieces, uh, depending. Let's. Are there more that are not done? We yes, we have more here, Emily. Okay. okay go Sweet. Ahead. I can put these okay. Uh, soon it's time for Nini to do her lecture. How many are we putting in at a time? Did you do like uh, six? Just do five at a time. Five, okay. five or six at a time. Yeah. All right. it's six it should be fine. Okay. Thanks. Okay, Mini. Okay. Good. Yeah, I'm. Yeah, I'm just making sure it's pinched. Okay. We're good. So um, I mix it with my hand for about eight minutes for this. Okay. So we going to this. We're going to make the uh, the flat bread from this. So. So okay. so water, yeast, and water. Warm water. You want to use warm water for this, and uh, just mix like a, a a bread dough, and that's it. Okay. So we're going to take, I'm going to take, cut it half. Okay. Half again. Mm -hmm. Okay. <coughs> oh. Beautiful. Okay, so take, you, you don't need this cutting board, so just put it on the bottom there. Beautiful. Oops. Okay, so. Okay, it's a little messy, okay. but let me take this there. <laughs> okay, so. Should, should we have them? Yeah, they can come wanna, after this. Do you guys want to work with the dough? Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. So, <coughs> so we put it there like See this. Here. I'll try one of these. Yes, go ahead. Are you yeah. So yes. I just, with the tip of my, my uh, both hand there, like, like a, I don't know how to say that, but yeah, like you a cup, you make, make a, a cup. cup. Yeah, yeah, you're cupping your hand. Okay, cool. One more. Mine okay. are not as Perfect. pretty. So I like to let it rest a little bit before because now we work the dough, the gluten again, work out, work is developed again. So How did you make it so pretty? You do very good. Wait, did you press hard or no? Yes, press it, yes. Press, press it hard. It, yes. Oh. Yeah, yeah, that's, that's it. That's better, maybe. That's good. Okay. So flour. All right. Uh, let's use the one that we use first, maybe the gluten itself. We need to make it as thin as possible. Okay. Uh, because we just work the dough again, so it'll be kind of uh, stretchy, elastic. So, I want to make it as thin as possible. I think we need to rest the gluten a little bit more. So, I will give uh, Nadine cool. to do the lecture, okay? While we try to do this. Okay, cool. Yeah. When you say rest, how do, yeah. you, how do uh, you mean 10 rest? minutes to rest. Just let it yeah. be like this? Yeah. Yes. Okay. So you can relax the dough, so you can okay. roll it to this side. Okay. okay. Yes. All right, cool. Then let's, let's try it. Are you still going to try this one or yeah. no? Yes, let's okay. try it. I always have trouble with the dough. <laughs> Can you hear me now? Okay, very good. Okay, sorry, technical difficulties, everyone. <laughs> Let me set up here. Okay. All right, I hope that you all can see my screen very well. I can see myself. So tonight we're going to talk about heart disease. And I know this is a well um, talked about topic, but I feel like 
we need to review it again and again because we're so forgetful, um, including myself. We need to be reminded of how important it is to take care of our heart. So heart disease covers a lot of things and we're not going to be able to cover everything tonight in this presentation because it is a lot of information. So what I'm going to do is just present to you some of it, um, the first, just uh, the first half of it. And then I think we're going to continue with it in uh, our future presentations. So tonight we're gonna talk about what cardiovascular disease is, the, discuss briefly the different types of cardiovascular disease, the causes, and talk about atherosclerosis, and a little bit about, touch a little bit about cholesterol. So let's begin. So what is cardiovascular disease? Um, it is a term, as many of you probably know, that is used to describe a number of conditions affecting the heart and blood vessels. Actually, let me back up. I, I think maybe some of us are not aware that cardiovascular disease covers a lot of other heart diseases. So just to make it a little bit clearer, um, cardiovascular diseases include coronary heart, or coronary heart disease or heart disease, as you commonly know of. It also includes cerebrovascular diseases, such as stroke, um, peripheral artery diseases, which um, includes problems affecting uh, the vessels of the, the arms and the legs. And it also includes deep vein thrombosis or pulmonary embolism. So it covers a wide range of topic, but normally we're going, normally when we say heart disease, when you hear it talked about, a lot of people think of um, heart disease, coronary heart disease. So coronary heart disease is the most common type of heart disease in the United States. And that's what we're gonna focus on tonight. It kills in 19, 2019, it killed about 360,900 people. Um, and it is still very common here in 2022. Heart disease is still the number one killer among men and women in the United States and worldwide. So we need to be constantly reminded about it. And I feel like some of us eat and drink and uh, act and live as if heart disease does not um, exist. And it still very much exists. It is alive. Um, in fact, every 40 seconds, someone has a heart attack in the United States. So we constantly need to be aware of this killer that is among us that is so preventable. So we need to know what the risk factors of heart disease are. There are modifiable and unmodifiable risk factors. A um, couple of modifiable risk factors are high cholesterol, diabetes, or having diabetes, if you smoke, if you have an excessive intake of alcohol, if you're overweight or obese, um, physical inactivity, and having an unhealthy diet. These are the major modifiable risk factors of heart disease. And the unmodifiable ones, which are the ones that you cannot change, include your age, your genetics, and your race. However, even though you cannot change your age or your genetics or your race, you can control for those factors. You can, the way that you live and the way that you eat affects um, those factors and your risk factors can actually be lessened by having, living a healthier lifestyle, even though you are susceptible by genetics or race or age. So atherosclerosis is the underlying factor in the development of heart disease. What exactly is atherosclerosis? As you can see in my picture here, um, we have four pictures there. To the left, we see a nice clean artery. And as you can see, as we progress, the artery begins to narrow a little bit. What happens is that plaque builds up in the arteries. And as the plaque builds up, the artery becomes more and more narrow. And it gets to the point where um, it lessens or it blocks the flow of blood to the heart. It can get to that point. And when you have less blood flow, that means less oxygen to your heart, which can lead to chest pain. 
which may be some of the first signs or possibly the first sign that you have atherosclerosis going on and that you have some type of heart disease going on. So when that plaque builds up, the problem with plaque is that it can be unstable. Um, it has a potential to break open or rupture. And when it does that, a blood clot can form in the artery and completely block the flow of blood to the heart, which leads to a heart attack or a stroke. And for some people, a heart attack may be the only sign that they have atherosclerosis. They may not even have chest pain. Um, they may not have the typical signs of, um, of heart disease. Um, they may not get the sweating and the nausea. Some people just have a heart attack and die. Some, for some people, a heart attack is the last um, sign that they have heart attack, that they have uh, heart disease. But what is important to note is that um, a heart attack or a stroke does not just happen. It is a process that takes years to develop. It is a disease that actually begins in childhood. So we need to be constantly aware at every age in our life that this is a problem that can happen. And how do we know that atherosclerosis begins in childhood? Well, 1999, they did an autopsy report on US uh, young people from the United States that were between the ages of 17 and 34. And these people, these young people, they died of homicides, they died of accidents, and they died of suicides. But what the autopsy report found was that coronary artery disease already existed in that population, even though they were as young as 17 and even up to 34. Um, there was another study done. Um, excuse me, let me go back a little bit there. There was another study done in which um, they did autopsies on the US soldiers in the Korean War. And the average age of these soldiers were about 20. And they found that 80% of these soldiers already had coronary artery disease. Now at that young age, atherosclerosis does not usually um, cause a coronary event like a heart attack. But as that person ages and gets into their 40s and 50s, then it's prime time for a cardiac event to happen. And another important thing to note is that cardiovascular disease or coronary artery disease is not, just, is not caused just by old age. Remember, it is a process that starts when you're young. That's why it's so important for us to take care of our heart when we are young. It's a process that happens over time so that by the time you reach your 40s and your 50s and your 70s, that unhealthy lifestyle catches up and, that is a, and it, it can cause major damage to your heart. So it's so important to take care of this wonderful um, heart that God has given us and to be mindful of how we eat and how we live. So now that we know what coronary heart disease is and how it develops, let's discuss how to prevent it because this is what we really need to know, correct? Um, so how do we prevent heart disease? Um, many, many ways to prevent it. One way is to decrease our intake of cholesterol. And then we have a list of other things here, which we won't go over all tonight, um, but we also need to decrease our fat intake to increase our fiber intake. And as you can see on the other list, we'll review this another time. But tonight, I think we're basically gonna focus on cholesterol and yeah, maybe not get into the fat tonight, but we'll see. Um, so one of the major contributors to plaque development or atherosclerosis is cholesterol. So cholesterol is actually a waxy substance made by the liver. And we also can get cholesterol from the foods that we eat. The liver, it's important to note that the liver makes all the cholesterol that we need. So we actually don't need to take it in. So let's take a little um, look at the different types of cholesterol in the body. Um, we do need cholesterol, by the way. Our body uses cholesterol to make hormones, to convert, it, um, to convert vitamin D in the skin and to aid in the digestion of cell membrane and formation. Um, and when, but when the uh, cholesterol levels are too high, then that is a cause for concern. Cholesterol, like we said, is made in the liver and it's transported through the blood through what we call lipoproteins. 
And you may know two of the common lipoproteins or vehicles that transport cholesterol. Um, these are called LDL or low density lipoprotein and HDL or high density lipoprotein. So you know LDL as the bad guy or the bad vehicle. So LDL travels through the bloodstream and it delivers cholesterol to the cells in your body that needs it. So LDL is very important. It has a, um, a function in the body, but too much LDL will cause cholesterol to be deposited in your arteries and causes cholesterol to build up in the walls of the arteries and contribute to atherosclerosis, which increases your risk of heart disease. HDL, on the other hand, you know as the good guy, the good vehicle that actually helps to remove cholesterol from the arteries and carries it back to the liver where it can be excreted from the body. So how do we end up with too much cholesterol? Well, for some people, this is a genetic disorder, but for most people, it comes from the food that we eat. And I think we're, we're um, gonna stop here um, at, at this slide here. How do we decrease our intake of cholesterol? How do we decrease our cholesterol level, I should say? Um, well, in order for us to do that, we have to know where cholesterol comes from. Um, and a simple way to remember it is that cholesterol is only found in animal foods. Um, so if you're eating any type of animal sources, then you're gonna have cholesterol in it. Remember that our body makes all the cholesterol that we need, so we do not need to take it in. Um, so some sources of cholesterol, eggs are very high in cholesterol. Um, and then red meat has cholesterol, poultry, fish, milk, and dairy, any source of animal products whatsoever um, is going to have your cholesterol in it. And eating too much cholesterol can help to inc can increase your cholesterol levels um, on top of what the liver is already making to sustain you. So um, I think we're going to stop here, <laughs> as I said before. The next time that we meet together, we're going to take a look at fat intake and uh, what types of fat should we be having and how does it affect heart disease. So um, God bless you for tonight. And I hope that you've learned something about heart disease and remember how important it is to take care of your heart because it is one of the most important organs in the body maybe. Um, I shouldn't say that, but all the organs are important, but the heart is like the matter of it all. And we need to learn how to take care of it. So God bless you and uh, hope to see you again next time. Okay. Hello, everybody. Thank you for, thank you for needing for sharing this uh, lecture on uh, mm -hmm. heart disease and cholesterol. So now uh, we have, uh, we're making, now what we're making the flat bread dumpling, okay? So, uh, actually the flatbread bolani, okay, mm. bolani. So we have the dough that we let it rest. We cut it in eight pieces, eight pieces. I wish I can see the screen there. Yeah, see, eight pieces. And uh, so, and then we're going to roll it down uh, in a circle. And we have the filling, the filling is, a, the filling is based with, uh, what is it? Potatoes? Potatoes. Cilantro. Cilantro. And um, the, did you do scallions in there? Or yeah, did scallion. you do the and scallion the scallions. also, okay? Yeah. And coriander, okay? So now, I mean, it's a very simple, sim yeah, go ahead. And no. now you want to, you want to moist mm. halfway and you want to remove all the air bubble when you close it down, okay? So I'll show you a sample there. I'm just gonna say, if you can't roll it out into a circle, like an amoeba-like shape, amoeba, amoeba, right? Bolani. An amoeba-like shape also Ah, amoeba-like, okay. <laughs> this looks like an amoeba to me. <laughs> okay, so this is what she wants, basically. Yeah. <laughs> and otherwise, That's you can beautiful. do this, this beautiful <laughs> thing. It's still good, it's still. It's still gonna ah, yes. taste good. Definitely. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Okay, you want to uh, make it thin as possible, uh, like a, like a tortillas. Okay. Okay. Then we're going to put some water mm -hmm. halfway. You have to be sure it doesn't burn. Yeah. Okay. And then I'm going to put a little bit of the potatoes mixture there mm -hmm. and just flat it up. 
you want to spread it all over the halfway of the dough like this, just like that. Beautiful fat bread. And uh, mm. then you just yeah, stretch a little bit and just bring it there together, okay? So, and now this is what we want to do. We want to flat it up to make sure the air, all the air bubble is gone, just like that. Like a flat bread. Ready? Yeah. Beautiful. That's awesome. And, and then we're going to put it in a, uh, a skillet, a hot skillet with some olive oil inside. Mm -hmm. Just put a little bit here. Et voila. And uh, at the, the end of it, this is what you have, guys. Just like that. So, can you see? This is what we want. That's a that's beautiful. Mm -hmm. that's, that's like, I want to eat it. <laughs> okay, <laughs> so uh, we're going to uh, let, let make a, a presentation, a plate presentation for you with uh, the dumpling first, and then I will show you how to uh, present this, um, the bolani. At the same time, you can keep going this, okay? Okay, perfect. It's gonna take me a little bit. <laughs> Not gonna <No>. lie. <laughs> Still going. Fine. You guys okay, can, take this one, yeah? can come out and roll. <laughs> I mean, it's doing so well. It's better than yes. the first time I tried yes, this. Yes, exactly. The first, the first time, time. And uh, as you see, I'm, I'm checking the back to be sure that it's, it's not burning. This is different than rolling out pie crust, for sure. <laughs> I can okay. do pie crust. Ah, yeah, the pie crust, you remember that? My, my <laughs> no. It was, <laughs> it, was, it was fun, actually. It was fun? Yes, it was fun. It was fun. Okay, so we had the meat. Let me bring the meat. So this is, this is, this one is the Ostak. Ostak uh, is a stuffed dumplings, Afghan stuffed dumplings. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to use, uh, this is for this one. I'm going to use this one here. Uh, the dumplings, where are the dumplings? Uh, there is more There's dumplings some over there. there. Um, There's Emily, probably we have more some dumplings. that we need yes. to take out. Yes. First, I want to put the yogurt This is why I top. set the timer. <laughs> so a little bit of yogurt on top, <laughs> just like it. So follow this carefully, guys, okay? Emily, what? you see, so I put some of the yogurt on the bottom. You oh. see that? Yeah, it okay. looks really pretty. The yogurt, then Fancy. I'm going to add the dumpling on top. Can you see? Okay. Okay, camera is on, camera two, mm -hmm. camera, okay. So I'm going to put the dumplings just like that. That's for a plate for um, four people at least, okay? Okay. So my dumplings stick a little bit, so I'm going to just leave it like that, okay? Just like that. So we have less of a dumpling, I need it for a picture after that. Okay, so after this, I put some yogurt on top. Again. Hmm. At the end, we put some of the meat just like that. Hmm. Beautiful. And we're done. That's Beautiful. the that's the Ostak stuffed again dumplings. And this is what we have. And uh, of course, a piece of little bit of mint here, and that gives the plate. Okay, so this is beautiful plate and uh and bon appetit yeah? amazing okay so now let's let's do this one is a is very simple so what i'm going to do is uh just where's my knife oh hmm. i'm going to it's like a quesadilla yes it's like a quesadilla every country have their own right their own uh bread no. their own bread things okay so I, I i want them to see inside of it let's open it okay so this is it Mm, the potato mixture. Yeah. yeah, the potato mixture, you can see it there, just like that. And what, what they like to do is they like to use a, a chutney, uh, a sweet chutney for it. Otherwise, you can use the yogurt also. So 
basically they yes. put as a dip so you can dip your yogurt there okay. and uh, we can put a because there is cilantro in it so this one so let's put a bit of cilantro there like this and we have it okay so that's the plate very simple it looks so uh, delicious and that's voila okay Man, I can't wait to wow. eat those I know, <laughs> I know, I know. I'm so hungry right now. Yeah. I, it would be a delight to eat it. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. Okay. Yeah. So, oh, um, Emily, so yeah. you good? I think so. so. This perfect. is the last one. That's I just have to wonderful. make sure the air is out. Okay. And, so, um, I think we, ha we are done. Mm-hmm. Oh, we okay. should uh, okay. probably turn this off. Oops, there we go. Yes. I think those are good. And the other one might be done as well. Yes. Just have to put this one okay. in. So, let's finish this one. Not beautiful, but it's going to taste good. Oh no, my, yes. My I think enough. it's great, Emily. <laughs> I think it's great. Let's put it that here. I think this skillet cooked better. Okay. Yes. Cool. And these are also done, that's done. So we okay. have that. Perfect. Okay. Okay. So we are done uh, for today, eh? okay. Emily. The Afghan meal. This it. is a special holiday and uh, people are going like to have fun. Uh, you can use that for Thanksgiving, you know? It looks uh, like a holiday meal to yes, me. It's for beautiful. Christmas. It can be a beautiful, uh, uh, original way to, uh, and I'm sure kids will love that. Mm -hmm. huh? There is no reason. Okay. You don't have to put the heat in it, and I'm sure they will be uh, excited to see that. Mm. Okay, Mr. Mr. Benson, we are ready for the next thing. Okay, All so right. I'll, I'll awesome. put a little bit of oil for this one. Thank you. Yes. You guys hungry? You so, uh, just to let know. you know, I, I guys. I wonder if anybody. Go ahead. Just to let you know, I, I'm, I'm, I moved to uh, an Arbor area, and so, yeah. If anyone who like me to cater <laughs> for them for their holidays or cooking classes or hands-on classes, really, I'll be available. Wow, yes. that would be amazing. So, uh, do give me a call, and uh, on my on social media, you can just uh, email me or reach me or Camp Cuisine, okay. and uh, I'll be happy to cater to you. Okay. Awesome. So we have had some good looking food put together here and look at the, I don't know if you can get a picture on that, but get close to it and you can just see all the great artistry that went into it to make it look delicious. And uh, the real test is going to be when our guests and us taste it and see how it tastes, but I'm pretty sure it's going to be delicious. So. And most of the ingredients you find, you find it in our store. Um, Nature's Nest. Nature's I Nest. Yep. Check that out. Yeah. You can go on the website for yeah. camp and see that there. Yeah. So our next pro, by the way, if you have questions tonight, please email it in. Um, we'll turn those over to Jeff. He'll get an answer to that. So there's some Q&A going on here. So go ahead and boot that up and kick those questions in. Next thing we're going to do this is November 15th. That's going to be a Tuesday night. And uh, so our theme is going to be along the lines of foods that you would do around Thanksgiving time. Some of those foods would be stuff like carrot or sweet potato pie, uh, toasted like pumpkin pie, meatloaf, a coconut, color green, uh, green beans, mashed potatoes, and gravy. So, anyway, it's a lot. It's gonna, yeah, it's gonna it's gonna be a lot uh, that is gonna be on the plate. So, you want to tune that in. If you have some friends who like uh, ideas, like what what should I do this year for Thanksgiving? That's not gonna be the same old thing I've done in the last 20 years. You might invite them to tune in and maybe get some fresh ideas, some fresh perspective, and a good time together. So, all right. So if you have questions, kick them in. We're ready to do that. Gotcha. Hey, in the meantime, hey, let's take a piece of, uh, try a bite of these things, huh? Hey, ladies, come over here. Come let's on, try these things.
going to decode the plate for signing up. Is there any credit or still going? It's fresh, huh? All right, That's friends. That's a good word. It's fresh. We've it's finished clean. another episode. Yes, it's clean. And huh? yeah, no, you're fine. We finished another episode of home cooking with Chef Miguel Larche. We had a lot of fun, of course. You know, we we had some very, very good ethnic dishes that Emily and and Chef Larche showed us how to make. And uh, we're about ready to dig into this and have a great time eating it. <laughs> but first, we got to ask Chef a few questions. Yeah. And one of the questions that has been sent in is about this original baka stuff that you used. Okay. So it, is there a preference for that, or can people uh, you, use you other can use veggie meats? Actually, you can use grillers. I, I chose this one because I know this one is mm -hmm. vegan for sure. The grillers. Mm -hmm. um, right. I, I don't for sure is 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 uh, good. Otherwise, you can use uh, also the Beyond Burger, the mm -hmm. Combo Beyond Burger, or Impossible Burger. Also. Right. Yes. Right. So it's fine. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's it's a preference. I like it. Uh, it's it's much more healthy and uh, yes, that's mm -hmm. that's why. Yeah. And I'm looking here at questions. So somebody asked, where can you find the recipes? So the recipes are yeah, very easy, easy to find. We post them on our website, www.campcuisine.org, and we post them there. We put pictures of them, and all of the instructions will be right there for you to be found. And then we also put them on our Facebook page and our Instagram page too. Or we don't have an Instagram. That's Nature's Nest. Yeah. But, <laughs> but, but anyway, we, we definitely post those recipes, and you can find them. Um, just as easily as you found this show. And before we go tonight, I want to talk about um, the in-person audience. As you may have seen, we had a great in-person audience tonight. You can find out about that in-person audience, of course, on our website. And on our website, there's a link there, but you can also keep watching our Facebook page. And there's a link to an Eventbrite page. And when you go there, you can sign up to see us in studio. And... To see us in studio, you just have to give us your email address, your name, and we will reserve a seat for you to sit at the counter back here. And once you are there, you will get to have a hands-on experience here. Yes. Because we definitely do include um, those people here. And you they know. Can eat and everything. And they eat. And they get. They get to taste the food. Yes. They get to smell the food. They get to feel the food. Yes, and it's delicious. So anyway, our next show, of course, is on November 15. Uh, it's a Tuesday, November 15, next month. We've got a lot of great stuff coming up for Thanksgiving. So keep watch for that. We'll be posting the promotions for that very soon. And we hope to see you again. We had viewers from Grayling, Detroit, Wyoming, Sault Ste. Marie, and Wisconsin. And, of course, there will be more, of course, coming from afterwards so stay tuned we love our viewers and if you have any recipe ideas feel free yes. to send them in send us a facebook message or send us an email or or something because we love to hear from our viewers and we love to he get those ideas and the other thing is if you end up making your recipe at home send a picture of us or of you making it and the result and we will show it on our next show we will show it during our Q&A time or at the beginning of the show, reflecting on that. So just send a picture in. We'd love to have you do that. So is there anything else that you sure. have? So yes, uh, with Chef Larche moving down towards the Ann Arbor, Detroit area, um, there are going to be opportunities for you to go in and witness him uh, cooking some stuff in the various venues that he's going to be at down there. Mm -hmm. So you will want to check That's on right. our website a lot. Maybe we'll eventually, if you have an interest, say, hey, I'd like to follow where he's going. We could get an email list and we could send it out to you when he's going various places so you can follow that and say, hey, heck, I'd like to check into that. So yes, for sure. For sure. And we will be keeping you posted on the details of that transition downstate. Um, as, of, as it stands right now, we are in our third season and our season finale will be in December. Uh, da -da 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 -da, December 13. And so we hope to see you there as well, you know, virtually, of course. But that will be our season three finale. And I think we might even have a finale video just talking about our experiences here, you know? So, so we're going to have lots of fun with that. 
And we'll start season four in January, hopefully, or mm -hmm. maybe yeah. a little bit after. So we'll see. So just stay tuned. We'll have lots of details on that soon. So that's all. I hope you guys have a great night. So. Thank you. Yeah. Ah, it's so good. This is.